jaredpolinfronosphoto.com and this video is gonna help you understand the difference between mirrorless cameras and DSLRs. So what is a DSLR? Well, DSLR stands for Digital Single Lens Reflex, which means that there is a mirror that has to flip out of the way in order to expose the image sensor. Now, what is a mirrorless camera? Well, obviously it doesn't have a mirror. And if you have a smartphone, you already have a mirrorless camera built into that. So which system is best for you? Well, in order to figure that out, we need to take a look at the pros and cons of both systems so that you can better decide. So let's first take a look at body size. Well, a DSLR tends to be slightly larger because it has to account for the mirror mechanism which is built inside. On the mirrorless side, you don't have that mechanism which means they can be on the smaller side. When mirrorless technology first came out, the whole point of getting it was that it was much smaller than the DSLRs. Well, DSLRs on the consumer end have started to shrink and they're almost the same size as some of their mirrorless counterparts. Now with DSLRs, you tend to have more buttons on the outside of the camera, which makes it easier to make changes, especially with manual controls. Now on the mirrorless side, generally speaking, you have less buttons, which means more things are menu driven. Now that we've talked about bodies, let's take a look at lenses. I like to say glass, 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 glass. And what that means is I like to put the best lenses in front of whatever body I'm using. Now on the DSLR side, you tend to have more lenses to choose from, but they also tend to be slightly larger. On the mirrorless side, you tend to have less choices of lenses right now. Even going as far as some of the cameras, the lenses don't even come off. But being that the lenses tend to be smaller and lighter, it makes it much easier for travel. So now let's talk about batteries. Well, DSLR, because it's generally larger, is gonna have a larger battery, which means you're gonna get more shots out of it. Where on the mirrorless side, smaller body, smaller batteries, plus the sensor is always on receiving power, which means it's gonna chew through it much quicker, meaning less shots. But with that being said, on either end that you go, make sure you have extra batteries just in case you run out of power. One of the major differences that sets apart DSLRs from mirrorless cameras are the viewfinders. Now on a DSLR side, it's an optical viewfinder. Remember that mirror we talked about? Well, light bounces off of that, goes through a prism, and then what you see is what you get. But on the mirrorless side, you don't have an optical viewfinder, so how do you see the image that you're about to take? Well, some of them don't even have a viewfinder at all, which means you have to look at the back of the camera. But some of them have electronic viewfinders, which I absolutely love. The reason I love them is because you get to see a preview of the image you're about to take so you know is your exposure right or is it wrong is it off we're on the DSLR side you just see the light that's coming through you don't see if your exposure is going to be right or wrong now let's look at sensor size you would think because the DSLR is larger that it would have a larger image sensor but that's not really the case you're going to find pretty much the same sensor sizes in both mirrorless and DSLR. You can find full frame, you can find APS-C, but also let's take a look back at the old mirrorless technology. The whole point was to get a smaller camera which meant smaller sensor. I want you to remember that a larger sensor tends to be more expensive, but it's going to give you a better quality image. Keep that in mind when you're deciding which is right for you. One of the most important features in any camera is how well does it autofocus. Now they both autofocus very well. I will say that DSLRs are better when it comes to tracking moving subjects as well as shooting in low light situations. Whereas a mirrorless camera is going to track subjects pretty well. It's not going to be as good in low light situations, but honestly, they have both gotten so good, it's going to be hard to tell the difference between either of them. But where the mirrorless outshines the DSLR is when it comes to autofocus during video. You tend to get better focus tracking and autofocus when it comes to the mirrorless camera, where with the DSLR, it's not really designed to track the autofocus when it's shooting video. One of the places a mirrorless camera outshines a DSLR is in silent shooting mode. Now the DSLR by nature, because it has a mirror, is going to be much louder. Even in the so-called silent shutter modes, it's going to be pretty loud. Now on the other side, a mirrorless camera is going to be much quieter. Some of the cameras even offer you a silent mode altogether. So consider these options if you need to take pictures in a quiet situation. 
Another great feature is image stabilization. Now on the DSLR side, you're only gonna find image stabilization in the lenses. On the mirrorless side, you also have lenses that offer image stabilization, but some of the camera bodies go even further than that to offer image stabilized sensors, which means any lens you put on that camera is going to become an image stabilized lens. Let's talk about video. Which is gonna be better, a DSLR or a mirrorless? We have to look at a DSLR and remember when you hit the live view button, the mirror flips out of the way, exposing the image sensor, thus turning it into a mirrorless camera. Now on the mirrorless side, if you're looking for better autofocus capability, you're going to get that on the mirrorless. Of course, there are some DSLRs that offer autofocus, but it's not as good as mirrorless. So if you're looking to just shoot video, a mirrorless camera could be the best way to go. But another thing you have to remember is that they all have time limits for shooting between 10 and 30 minutes. If you're one of those people who like to share pictures online as soon as you take them, well, Wi-Fi is going to be an important feature. Which one of these systems is going to do that better? Well, mirrorless cameras tend to have a Wi-Fi option already built in right off the bat. Now, DSLRs, they're starting to catch up with that, but most of them don't give you the option for Wi-Fi built in. I know that price plays a determining factor in deciding on what system to go with, and you would think that a DSLR is going to be a lot more expensive. Well, that used to be the case, but today the prices are basically the same. Whether it's an entry-level camera or a professional camera, the prices are going to be very similar. Now that I've given you a basic overview of both systems, you have to decide which is best for you. Is it a mirrorless system or is it a DSLR system? But one thing I want to remind you is that technology is ever changing. We're starting to see a lot of the technology in mirrorless cameras find its way into DSLRs, which means at some point they're going to meet in the middle. But you have to decide what checks the most boxes for you. Is it a mirrorless? Is it a DSLR? Do you want something small that's light and easy to carry around? Or do you want something a little larger that gives you more battery life and more lens choices? You have to figure this out. But I like to say, pick a system and stick with a system so that you can build onto it into the future. So I hope that this video helped you out. Thank you guys very much for watching. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya.